But yeah, here it looks like they tackled the shooter and they were trying to wave cops down. And so this seems pretty legit. And so these guys are pretty heroic and in, into what they did. So like, yeah, kudos to these guys. This is pretty shocking footage just to see. And hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Johnny channel. Let's just get straight into this one. It is Valentine's Day and around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time in Kansas City, the Chiefs try to celebrate their Super Bowl win over the weekend. And about an hour ago, about 3 p.m., it says here, one person dead, several injured in shooting after Chiefs Super Bowl rally in Kansas City. And I just saw this live footage by the chief of police and the mayor. And so there's a lot of things happening right now. Uh, the scene is still active, as in, you know, there's still a, a lot of police present, not so much that there's an active shooting happening. Uh, but it says here, one person has been killed and several people were more were injured in a shooting in Kansas City where crowds had gathered to celebrate the Chiefs Super Bowl victory with a parade and val rally. Downtown KC was packed with people attending the, the team's victory parade. And so I hear between 800,000 and a million people gathered to watch this, okay? And towards the end of the parade is when these gunshots started ringing out among the, the mass crowd. And so as I'm reading... You know, as I'm getting all this information on TikTok, I'm reading articles, ABC, and watching these this live footage. Um, some say that it was two gunmen that came into the crowd and started shooting at people. And then I read another comment, uh, a different source. I don't know if it's credible or not, that uh, it was just two guys who had beef and started shooting at each other in the crowd and people got caught in the crossfire. And as of right now, which is... 358, 359 now, PM, that one uh, is deceased, one person is deceased, and between 10 to 15 have been injured. Now, when I was reading this about 25 minutes ago, it was about uh, nine uh, injured, one deceased. And so I would assume that the numbers will keep rising because there's an aftermath. I'm sure there's ricochet of bullets. Uh, people just don't know what, you know what that entails. And so it could be more people, but right now, between 10 and 15 and one deceased. And so let's see here. It says the ages of the victims were not immediately clear, but Children's Mercy Hospital said it had received some patients to be treated. And I have also uh, heard that there were a couple of bystanders who saw this happen and they tackled the shooters. And when I was watching the uh, chief of police of Kansas City, she did say that she heard that too, but could not confirm nor deny that this actually happened, as in the shots rang out and people, bystanders or fans, or I mean, some would say heroes, intervened and tackled these shooters. So I'm literally editing this video right now when I came across this video on TikTok. It says, Chiefs fan tackle one of the parade shooters until law enforcement arrives. And I'm watching this video and it seems like two males are tackling what seems to be a male and the other guy's like, hey, I'm going to punch this guy because he's still moving, trying to get away. Rightfully so that these guys, it seems like this is what people are talking about. And if it is confirmed, I, but it does seem like this is real legit that the Chiefs fans were trying to, uh, and they did apprehend this shooter. And, but yeah, here it looks like they tackled the shooter and they were trying to wave cops down. And so this seems pretty legit, and so these guys are pretty heroic in, into what they did. So, like, yeah, kudos to these guys. This is pretty shocking footage just to see, and you can see this other female waving, saying, hey, this is potentially the guy. We need cops over here. We need law enforcement. And it looks like the cops on the right-hand side uh, are busy with something, and then we see the cops coming and, you know, put their guns away, and they're going to get to work. They're going to control this guy, put handcuffs on him, and, and go from there. So... To the two guys that actually made this happen, like major, major balls on these guys to do this because you never know if the shooter still has a gun on him or her and would turn around easily and keep shooting at people. So those guys did a great job. It says here in this article, the shooting happened near West Pershing and Kessler Roads in downtown Casey. Reports with WDAF said the scene grew chaotic as people ran following the sounds of gunfire. Multiple people could be seen being carried away in stretchers. Two armed people have been detained pending further investigation, police said. So here's kind of what I want to uh, touch on, okay? For people who say that we don't need the police and we should defund the police. 
Great. That's a great opinion. You know what's a fact? The fact that there was over 20 police agencies downtown KC, they've been planning this operation, like the security measures of KC and the parade for the last 18 months. And so it's not an easy task as you may you think about it. There's over a million people gathering in one place. You need security like no other. And so the fact that there were 20 different police agencies, local, county, federal, state, all working together to try to make this as safe as possible is great. Unfortunately, two people decided to be real stupid today. And for some reason, somehow, they did not take the forever nap. And what I'm getting at is that because there were so many police uh, presence and agencies, they were able to apprehend these two people. Now, I don't know if they're men and women or both men or, you know, both women. I just, I have not been seeing that. Like, that has not been confirmed, but I did see a video of a a guy being handcuffed, being escort, escorted by police. So, all that to say, you know, for those who say we don't need the police, Let's think about that and what that actually means. You may not like certain police officers because of what you see on social media. This thing is very one-dimensional and very biased. You only see one side, right? But there's a whole different side that you don't see. And that's what I'm trying to get at, that people just don't understand the amount of planning this had to go through, the amount of people, manpower, resources that it takes to pull something like this off to make sure people are safe to celebrate something that happened. You can see here, an injured person is aided near the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl victory parade on February 14th uh, in KC. And I did see a video of the mayor, and he was saying that when they were celebrating and having fun about to end the parade, they heard gunshots or what appear to be what sounded like gunshots ringing in the air. And what's really cool, I guess you could say, is that when he turned and to go into the building, like this is his words, he said that he saw a whole line of officers going towards the gunfire with guns drawn, ready to address and neutralize whatever threat there was. And so like for those who say police should be defunded, like then you go do that. Try to go and, and do that. Try to go towards the danger, towards you know the gunfire. I have been there myself, and it's scary. Yeah, but that's your job. And so that's what these men and women at KC uh, and whatever other departments were there, that's what they did. That's their job. And so I applaud those officers, truly. Of course, this story will keep developing and developing. Uh, I'm filming this at, let's see, 4 p.m. right now. This happened about an hour or so ago. By the time you even watch this video, I'm sure there's going to be a whole lot of different information uh, that's going to be either verified or not verified. I just don't know. Uh, and I'm surprised that more people did not get hurt. There's a million people there and they're all crowded. You could take a pistol and you could probably you could probably kill a lot of people with just a Glock 19 Gen 4, Gen 5. I mean, that's got what, 16 15, 16 rounds, if you have a Glock 17 or something that holds a higher capacity, I mean, you could do some damage, but I'm kind of, it sucks and it's a tragedy, but I'm grateful that there were only so many few injured and deceased, but it, it could have been a lot worse. So I want to say thank you to the officers in KC, uh, all the surrounding agencies who work together on this to secure. I know that they're still there. They're going to be there for a long time, probably till, I mean, all throughout the night into the morning tomorrow, and we'll just see what happens. But uh, you guys, this is tragic. Let's pray for Casey, the victims, everybody involved, and let's pray for the officers and their families. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.